This is Dylan Miles. One day when Dylan went to a hot yoga class to get a workout in, he went into the locker room to change and it caused some drama. The problem was that Dylan's presence and behavior made all of the female yoga students uncomfortable. They complained to the management after Dylan walked in wearing what they considered to be men's clothing and proceeded to get naked in front of them. They saw far more than they wanted to and asked that Dylan be required to use the men's room, which she found highly offensive. And because they couldn't accommodate for Dylan's transition, she filed a $5 million lawsuit against the small business. The problem is that this is the third lawsuit of its kind that Dylan has filed in the past year. What? Uh, yeah. What an interesting video we have today. Sit back, relax, and get ready for this one. It seems like we have an individual here, a very stunning and brave individual, by the way, who just likes to sue left, right, and center as soon as they get offended. As you just saw in that video, the same person we're going to be talking about today apparently tried to sue an NYC yoga studio not so long ago after being forced to use the male locker rooms and apparently it's not the only lawsuit they've been involved in. Well, in this video, <laughs> we're going to be adding another one into the mix because a new report has come out surrounding the same individual that apparently now they're going to be suing the city of New York for 22 million dollars because they were put into a male detention center which is so obviously wrong because they're a male identifying as a muslim woman yeah you didn't expect that part did you the clown world we're living in just seems to get worse but before i carry on with this one if you could make sure to leave a like rating as it really really helps out the video helps it get pushed out in the algorithm if you're new hit that subscribe button we're getting closer and closer to 60k turn on bell notifications comment on this video share this video around and uh well Let's get into it. Inmate who identifies as a trans Muslim woman sues NYC for $22 million after being placed in a men's detention center while waiting for domestic abuse trial. A transgender woman is suing the city of New York after they were placed in a men's detention center while awaiting transfer to another state on domestic violence charges. Ali Miles, who goes by Dylan Miles, was born a biological male but is in the process of transitioning into a woman, wears women's clothing, and is undergoing hormone therapy. Now look, I don't want to be the bearer of bad news here for this individual because they might sue me who knows actually for many others out there as well but uh, that doesn't make you a woman yeah sorry about that Miles, a self-identified Muslim woman, is now seeking more than $22 million in compensation, claiming he was discriminated based on gender identity. Miles was held at George Arviano City on Rikers Island from June to July 2022 before being transferred to Yavapai County Jail in Arizona. Subsequently, he was convicted of aggravated harassment, disorderly conduct, harassment, threatening or intimidating, and false reporting to a law enforcement agency. In October of 2022, he was placed on supervised probation for a period of three years and sentenced to 312 days in jail. The lawsuit filed on August 24th, 2023 states that despite expressing a female gender identity and allegedly having a court order for him to be placed in a female unit, Miles was housed in a male facility at Rikers. All right, let's just address a couple of things here. My brain cells are being destroyed every time I read a sentence from this article, but Firstly, a male facility is where they should be at. There's nothing wrong with that. And secondly, if they did allegedly have a court order to be in a female unit, then the person who may have greened at this needs to be fired. I don't care because firstly, what you're saying is a male should be in a female unit and this male has been convicted of what? Harassment, disorderly conduct, threatening, intimidating, definitely somebody you want around women, right? Is common sense really that hard to find? Seriously? I, I'm running out of words for these people. I really am. I don't know what they're smoking at this point. The filing contends that Miles faced discrimination, assault, and human rights violations during this time despite wearing women's clothing and in all appearance expresses a person of the female gender. <laughs> I don't need to say anything. You guys know what I'm thinking here. This is... Following his arrest, Miles informed a judge about being transgender and the need for special housing, with the court purportedly agreeing. However, Miles alleges that being placed in a male jail, he suffered shock and distress. As Miles approached the inside of the building, Miles realized it was a male jail, which caused shock, panic, and fright to Miles. The suit reads, Oh no, ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> it's time to get the violins out. Really, it is a male experience shock when he <laughs> discovered that he was being put into a male jail. Hey, look, man, I'm not the smartest person around, but a good way to avoid this situation that is apparently causing you so much shock and distress, don't commit a crime 
in the very first place. Just a little bit of life advice from me to you. Can you believe this is the world we're living in, ladies and gentlemen? Because I simply can't. But to close out this video, lastly, Miles requested and pleaded that as an LGBTQIA plus individual who was transgendered, wait, wait, hold on a second, I can't believe my eyes here, you just missed out a couple of letters. How dare you, right? I feel the pain of all these people who aren't being represented right now. What, what about the two-spirit community? A a absolutely shocking, shameful. How dare you? He required and needed an accommodation and that he should not be placed in a male population jail. Despite pleas for his accommodation to be switched, Miles claims a staff member said we don't do the trans thing here and underwent a degrading strip search. He was then strip searched by a male guard who said he had nice and one hell of a yeah, despite Miles not having undergone gender reassignment surgery. During detention at the George R. Viono Center, Miles alleges he was subject to routine harassment, misgendering and humiliation highlighting victimization by other inmates due to placement in a male facility. Yeah, I don't want to be mean here and this is just my opinion. I don't know about you guys, but I'm getting a strong whiff of something beginning with B and ending in T. And my window isn't open, so I don't know where else it's coming from. Miles is now demanding $22 million in compensation for the alleged discriminatory practices against him and List the City of New York, together with the Department of Corrections Rikers Island and New York Health and Hospitals Corporation. Wow, $22 million? $22? How, how, how do you even justify that? It just seems like somebody wants a lot of money because remember, again, this isn't the only lawsuit they've been involved in. Are we not just witnessing the fall of society right before our very eyes, ladies and gentlemen? Other countries will see these situations and they'll be laughing. This is clown world stuff right here. And if they keep going down this road of suing XYZ, are they not going to end up winning a case? Because soon enough, they'll get a judge who will rule in their favor and they will get, I don't know, some money, maybe millions of dollars. Yeah, something's clearly not quite right there. Yeah, but just imagine for a second if they did get put into a woman's jail, the danger that represents. Why is it even a consideration? It's beyond me. And I guess this is what happens when the world for so long now has tried to validate how people feel and put feelings ahead of truth, reality, and common sense. These are the consequences we will now face. Males trying to be put into female jails. I don't know how many brain cells I have left at this point. I really don't. Leave a like rating, ladies and gentlemen, once again, if you have reached the end of this video and you have enjoyed, if you're new, hit that subscribe button, turn on bell notifications, share this video around, comment on this video, but until next time, until tomorrow, it has been your boy JD, have a great day, stay safe, and I'm out, peace. What have I just read? What? <laughs>